Hey, so today what I want to talk about is working on the Mazda slash Ford 2.3 liter four cylinder engines, okay? So there's a special set of timing tools you're supposed to buy, okay? And at least where I am in Canada, they seem to be unavailable for the most part, okay? So the ones that I'm talking about are the lower crank retaining bolt, okay? So basically it goes in a blind hole and it locks off the crank from spinning around. So that's not too complicated, pretty easy actually. Um, they want a hundred bucks for the bolt, the dealership, and online, Amazon, you name it, I can't find it. Okay, so the culprit's in question here. We have the bolt that goes in the crank hole. This is the blind bolt or blind plug. So, what you do is you go to your local friendly hardware store. Um, went to TSC at this point, you can go to CarQuest, any parts supplier. I matched up the thread, so the actual thread just to save you doing the legwork. M8, or M10, sorry, 150 by 50. Um, so basically, the length isn't really what I need, um, because the tool looks a little different. The tool, I'm going to chop a section off this, weld it onto this plug, which I'm going to grind down to be a little bit shorter, and uh, probably cut in a leading thread just so it's not so bad, and uh, yeah, I get to work. Basically, this cost me like $6, okay? And these are for the crank pulley right here, and for locking off the timing tensioner and the guide. All that fun stuff. So rather than go and, you know, buy these stupid specialty tools, and I'm also going to show you what I use to lock off the actual camshafts, because there's a special tool you need for that. Um, but I got your back. So I'm back, and uh, so this is the tool that I ended up making. I just want to show you here. So this is an M10 by 150. I think I chose a 40 millimeter length for this. Um, maybe a 50, I don't really remember. Either way, um, I drilled a hole in the end of it and it was a 13 16 hole. Then I tapped it with quarter inch coarse and then I chopped a bolt off and stuck the threaded end in. And what that does is that lets me actually adjust it out and adjust it in. And it's easy to switch out tips. So if I need a longer bolt with the same thread, this tool is now like no longer just a single purpose. Um, I could swap out the end piece and I could use it on the Z-Tech engines, you know, the 60 mil bolt instead, whatever. And I also cut that, yeah, it's kind of ugly, but I kind of like that so, um, so I can actually fit it in the hole here. So here's a moment of truth. Now I've already actually had this in the hole, so it's not really a moment of truth. It's more like a moment of already fucking know it works. Now, the other thing I did, okay, because, yeah, it's sketchy, I'm using a bolt to set the timing, and, you know, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say whether or not this is a customer's car or not, but I don't own the car, um, and what I did is, okay, I tightened this bolt in, I tightened it in with a wrench, now, it's already stopped, so I know that's, that's nice and tight right there, um, now, there's a few reasons I know it bottomed out. Um, the threaded portion in the end, it felt stuck, so I'm going to need pliers to move it. That in indicates to me that the bolt was pushing down on the little threaded end piece in there, and it squished a little. Perfect. That's fine. Um, now, I took this bolt out, and the pulley spun around away, but it would not spin towards. And uh, it seems to be locked off pretty well, because anytime I move the engine counterclockwise, it wants to rest back to this TDC position. So my bolt is actually working, and I'm ready to disassemble. And I didn't use a stupid timing peg from Ford, and uh, when it's all thrown back together, the proof will be right there that it works. I mean, you do need a vernier, you do need a bench grinder, you need a drill press, you need bottoming taps, you need some specialty shit to do this. But if you have it laying around, save yourself some money, make the damn tool. Okay, so now the crankshaft pulley has been removed. The crankshaft is actually locked off with that special bolt. Um, as you can see, my bolt is butted up against the weight in there. A little hard to see, it's dark. Apologies. And then I have to take the chain tension off. The main chain up here. And I had a little look. And there's the tensioner right there, so I've got to pry that back with a screwdriver and then use a pin to hold it back in one of those holes, like a paper clip. Here's the other part of the tool set. Not really. So what this is is 3 8 or 3 16 sorry by 12 inch square key stock. These slots, they're orbiting, so the slots are taller, the one rotation, like so, two TDCs, right? You can only fit the tool in one TDC. 
So bam, easy. Um, hope this helps somebody. This really sucks to do.